name is Christopher Metzger, and I'm an instructor at Health One EMS. Today, I'm going to talk to you about bag valve mask ventilation of the apneic patient. As usual, I start with applying my BSI precautions. In this case, I will be using gloves. Next, I will check the responsiveness and breathing of the patient for at least five seconds, but not more than 10 seconds. Once I have determined the patient is not responsive, I will request additional assistance since I have a patient that will require more than one responder. I will also request advanced life support if available. Now we'll check for a pulse. I check for at least five seconds, but not more than 10 seconds. Once I'm sure there is a pulse, I know I will not have to immediately perform CPR so I can focus on the airway. I make sure the airway is open. In this case, the patient has an airway full of vomitus and secretions. In order to adequately manage the airway, I will need to use suction. I open and prepare my suction catheter. I turn on the suction unit and check for the presence of suction. I will insert the rigid suction catheter into the patient's mouth without applying suction. I will only insert this as far as I can see. I will suction the mouth and oral pharynx as I withdraw the catheter. I will not suction for more than 15 seconds. Now that the oral pharynx is clear, I have 30 seconds to get ventilation started. I'd utilize an appropriate technique to open the airway based on mechanism or condition of the patient. This could be a head tilt, chin lift, or a jaw thrust. I will now appropriately measure the oral pharyngeal airway from the corner of the mouth to the earlobe. Once I have the correct size, I will insert the airway into the oral pharynx in a manner that will not push the tongue back into the patient's airway. I notice there is no gag reflex and the airway adjunct is properly placed. I will now select an appropriate mask and connect it to the BVM device. I connect the BVM to the liter flow valve on the regulator and adjust the flow to at least 15 liters per minute. I place the mask over the patient's face and ensure a tight seal around the mask. Now I ventilate the patient once every five seconds or approximately 12 times per minute. I watch for chest rise and fall to determine proper volume. I must make sure I begin ventilations within 30 seconds of suctioning. I am now providing proper ventilations. After one minute, I reassess the patient by checking a pulse in their breathing. If the patient continues to be apneic, I continue providing ventilations. If there is no pulse, I will start CPR. What if the patient begins to gag on the oral pharyngeal airway? I will then have to remove the OPA following the anatomy of the oral pharynx and suction if necessary. If the patient continues to require ventilations and airway management, I can place a nasal pharyngeal airway. I appropriately measure the NPA from the tip of the nose to the earlobe. I will need to lubricate the NPA with a water-soluble lubricant prior to insertion. I then insert the airway with the bevel towards the septum. If I meet resistance, I will attempt to insert the airway in the other nair with the bevel towards the septum. The ability to appropriately manage a patient's airway using suctioning, positioning, bag valve mask, and airway adjuncts is a critical skill for EMTs. Thank you for watching. Good luck and stay safe.